Angel again and I'm here at Cozy Corner for your story play and a ready set play. Are you ready? Because I am ready. I have another book here for us to explore together. This book is called Touch and Explore Farm. Let's go. The Noisy Barnyard. I am the rooster. In the morning, I wake up the whole farm. Cock -a -doo -doo! <laughs> Look, and there's a hen. I am a duck. I like to paddle around in the pond. Quack, quack, quack. What's behind this door? I am a hen. I lay the eggs that will hatch into chicks. Look, look, look. And look, a chick is a baby of the hen house. It has a small beak. Cheep, cheep. I peep. Yellow feathers. Wings too short to fly. Claws on the feet. My mama hen kept me warm inside my shell. With a crick crack, I pecked my way out, and here I am. Touch my tiny downy feathers. Oh, they're so soft. A pig is not dirty. Hmm. I am the mama pig. My hungry little piglets drink my milk. I like to eat a lot. There are fruits, vegetables, and grain in my trough. Mm. Am I dirty? Are they dirty? Oh, but when it is hot, a roll in the mud helps me to cool down. Pink skin with tiny hairs. Oink, oink, I grunt. A curly tail, a snout. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and touch me. I am famous for my pink snout and twirly curly tail. But did you know that I am also very smart? Mm. Let me touch this piggy. Oh, that's kind of rough. Like, it's not as soft as the feathers. Oink, oink. A rabbit is a ball of fur. Ooh, look. Let's flip the hatch and see what's inside. Welcome to my rabbit hutch. The nice farmer built this little shelter just for me. I have a straw bed, food, and water. I made a nest for my babies with straw and fur. Yum, yum. I eat vegetables, bread, and leftover scraps for dinner. Crunch, crunch. My teeth never stop growing, but that's okay. I use them to eat all day long. Look, large ears. Whoop, whoop, a small nose, short front legs, look at that, long back legs, they come all the way under and curl like that, puff pom pom tail, oh, it's so cute, I chatter, that's the sound a bunny makes, can you make a sound of a bunny, kind of funny, Touch my soft fur. I lick it clean every day. It feels like cotton. A goat is a great eater. Hay, grass, leaves. I will eat almost anything. My baby is called a kid. Who else is called a kid? Are you called a kid? <laughs> Some goats have horns, look. Some do not. 
touch my chin hair. When people have a beard like mine, it's called a goatee. Meh, I bleat. Ooh, let's turn this tree. <laughs> a sheep is woolly. Touch my thick and curly wool. It's warm and snuggly. One day, the farmer will cut it off. Oh no. Oh, but don't worry. It grows back very quickly. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, it's like a sweater. Do you have a wool sweater at home? Bah, bah, I bleat. A farm is not complete without a cow. The wonderful cow. Crunch, crunch. I graze and chew on grass all day. My udders give good milk. You can drink it or use it to make cheese, yogurt, or ice cream. Mm, I love ice cream. I am a bull, a male cow. We are called calves, the babies of the cow and the bull. Mm. Horns. A spotted coat, hooves, that's on the feet, the udder, that's where you get the milk, a long tail, moo, moo, I low, oh, that's the sound the cow makes. Touch my spotted coat, my cow friends can also be red black or brown and have short or long hair mm, interesting kind of feels like skin with a little fur on it on a farm you can also find mm, lots of animals look horse nay 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 i say my little baby is called a foal the horse and the baby all right let's see what else you can find mm, i see a fox up there look there's an owl in a tree let's go over here donkey hee haw hee haw i bray a turkey gobble 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 i gabble what's that a dog woof 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 every farm needs a dog like me to help the farmer look for all the animals. So this dog is a farm dog. All right, what else is there? Ooh, look at this beautiful peacock. Let's see, the peacock. When I spread open my feathers, I am the most beautiful bird. It is a beautiful bird. Look at all those colors, wow. What else do you see on the farm? Do you see any animals that you can identify? So that was our touch and explore farm book. Which animal was your favorite animal? We are going to make, as you can see, a nice Easter basket. So these are the things that you need. You need some fudge sticks. I have some jumbo fudge sticks here, but you can use regular size fudge sticks. Um, you can also use colored fudge sticks. And you're gonna need a roll, a cartridge roll, like a cardboard roll. Next thing you're gonna need is an elastic band. Also, you will need some colored paper, any paper of your choice, preferably cardstock or cartridge paper because it's more durable to make the bottom of our basket. And of course, we're gonna need some decorations. Let's start with my card roll. So I'm gonna put it on top of my paper. Now I'm gonna use the elastic man. You're gonna put it around your card, just like this, all right? This is to help you to keep your foot sticks together. So once you have your elastic band around your card paper like that, you can start sticking your foot sticks into your elastic band and we're gonna just do this and go right around our roll
Voila! Okay, so we're gonna take a pencil or marker and you're going to just draw a circle right around your basket. Now, your circle should be a little bit bigger than the actual basket. So I'm going to go around like this. And your circle doesn't have to be perfect. You just need enough space to go around your basket. Now, we're gonna cut out the circle. All right, so once you have your circle cut out just like this, you're gonna place it beneath your basket again. So this is to create the bottom of our basket. So you're gonna put it on top just like that. And then right around, you're gonna make some small cuts. You're gonna make some flaps. That should be fine. All right, so you're gonna put a little glue on each of your flap. And you're going to just bring it up and hold it in place. You need to give a little press just to ensure that your glue is dried. And you're going to do that right around. Just add a little bit of glue to each of your flap. And you're going to bring it up to meet your foot sticks. So you're gonna let your paper dry for about 10 minutes like I have done. Once it's dry, you have the bottom of your basket ready. It's time to decorate it. I'll just take another strip of paper, it can be a different color paper, and I'm just going to go right around. I'm going to use a little piece of tape to hold my strip together. So you can just bring it around the bottom of your basket and right where the paper meets at the back. You can just add a little piece of your washi tape. Voila! And you're good to go. Now we are going to add our handle for our basket. Alright, I'm going to use pipe cleaners. I use two different colors because I want to give it this twisty candy cane looking effect. So I'm going to just twist them together. Hold one in. You just take your time and just twist them around. So what you're gonna do, you need another, you need to get another little piece of tape. I'm gonna cut this piece in two. And I'm going to use it to secure each end of my basket handle. Now you can just put it on and then what you do is slip it inside your basket and tape it to the side just like this. And you stick the next side in and you tape it to the other side like this and there you are a nice basket handle also use pipe cleaners to decorate so you can always take your pipe cleaners if you have the long ones you can just bring it around your basket just like that give it a little twist so it stays in place. And you can use anything at home to decorate your basket. It has been lovely being here with you guys today, doing these crafts, you know, telling stories. It was wonderful. Bye.